Say, Ron, when it comes to, to today's, tonight's game, what's just the added motivation when it comes to this it's an in-season tournament and it being the last one? Uh, you know, we need a must must win game here and like we gotta win for real, like like you know the point differential. So we gotta really try to go in there and uh, blow them out type of thing. Uh, you know, they play hard, uh, transition team, you know, but I feel like we play the same way. Uh, we got guys that play hard. Uh, we just can't let them outwork us. When it comes to it being a must win game, what's just the conversation and the discussion like when it comes to the point differential, what you guys have to do and how you have to do it? Uh, I think if we execute our game plan um to a T. We're gonna be good. Uh, you know, everybody just buy in, lock in, play hard, and we we could blow them out. Has it been fun for you guys in the NCAA tournament? Has it been a fun experience? Um, I ain't gonna lie, I just been focused game by game. <laughs> I only realized it's a tournament till we get on the court and the court change for real. So, um, other than that, I don't know. I can't really tell you. I just want I'm trying to win for you. Just trying to win. Have, have, it, uh, have the incentives, it's the stakes, has it made it more fun though? Like you have something else to play for? I don't besides. know about the older guys, but for the younger guys, yes. You know, yes, we all trying to get that extra, the extra money, you know, um, help out a lot of us, you know. Spencer jokes that with that money, he I ain't got one. Is there anything that <laughs> I, I, ain't, I ain't buying a Rolls Royce. That's going to be my whole 500. <laughs> I ain't got time to waste that, you know. Uh, I, ain't, I ain't like Spence's age yet. Once I get there, you know, hopefully I might buy me one. But uh, other than that, nah. If the tournament sticks around, like, do you think it's a good thing for the lead? It I like it. Personally, I like it. I like. It. I feel like it's um, give us a better competitiveness. You know, um, these games, I feel like guys really going hard and we actually trying to win. Uh, and like, it's a game like you got to play from start to finish. Even when you are losing by a lot, you still got to play defense if you're not trying to let the other team get more points. Does it change from any other game? Like you guys had that same mentality most most games, right? Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. But only thing it changed was the end of the game. You know, the sportsmanship when it blowing the team out, it don't it don't change it. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to this Raptors team, what has to be done, especially on the defensive side, for you guys to get that must win? Um, Make them stay out of paint, uh, limit transition attempts, uh, make them shoot more threes, you know, uh, run them like they run us, crash the glass, make them rebound, that type of thing, so they can eliminate transition attempts. Uh, you know, just playing hard, because the Raptors are always a hard playing team. Uh, you know, they're long athletic, so we know you got to like, play hard, hit them first, and we should be good. The other night against the Bulls, Spencer credited you, saying that you're kind of that, that needed extra boost coming off the bench. Just Overall, in these last couple of games, what's just your comfort level with playing with different lineups, playing with, with different rotations, and your chemistry? Uh, I don't care as long as I get to play. Uh, you know, I play my I play my position. You know, I'm gonna try to get guys open. I'm gonna rebound, uh, finish the ball when I can, pass the ball, get open guys. You know, I'm just trying to play. So whoever I got to play with, this I'm gonna play with. How would you assess how you have been playing and the, the added benefit that you've got? You've brought, you've brought um, you know, some games is down, some games is up. You know, I'm just trying to take a game at a time and just um, get more comfortable with playing more minutes uh, this year. So, you know, it's game game by game. I just take it game by game, and that's how I do it. This is the fastest that you've been playing with uh, you on the court in your three years in Brooklyn. How much of your ability to do that has been the off-season work on your body that you've talked a lot about? Uh, I, I'll say a lot on off-season. Uh, you know, uh, I haven't been getting a lot of minutes in my first two years. But it's third year, even though I did play a lot of minutes last night, I, I wasn't that tired, uh, you know what I'm saying? But it come with the, the conditioning during the summer, the extra lifting, you know, the extra reps. Um, the extra reps during last season, conditioning when I wasn't playing. I'm uh, doing that now when I'm not playing a lot of minutes, still conditioning, you know, just trying to stay in shape for any time I need to be out there. Do you see a difference with how this team is rebounding compared to maybe last year? Uh, I just said, like, we're not switching as much no more. So, like, now me and Nick on our matchups, so we actually keeping guys out the, um, away from rebounding the ball. And I just think we got a, as a collective group, you know, we got guys like Royce, uh, Doe, Mikhail, Ken, like everybody actually buying in and coming back and rebounding. So I feel like we're just doing better um, team, team wise. How much does that help you? Because you, you obviously love getting the rebounds, but how much does it help having like two, three guys there ready to rebound with you? Um, it helps a lot. You know, sometimes we playing against guys that's, you know, real big. And sometimes I can't get the rebounds, got to hold them off. And for them to come back and get it helped the team out a lot. But offensively, you know, I sometimes attack the ball out and they don't be down there, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, I know Jock challenged you to, you know, be a better rebounder. How, how do you feel like you're growing and being more comfortable crashing the glass? Um, I feel like I always had that since day one. Um, only thing I'll say is just like, I wasn't in the best shape or the best physical form yet. 
but I feel like I always said it since day one, and that's been my thing since day one, since y'all know me. Rebound, rebound, rebound. It don't matter who we playing against, how big they was, I always did it. Thank you. Thanks,